Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy, in case you are new here to me, to my channel. I do invite you to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below and also turning on post notifications. What was that? Turning on post notifications. That's a little bell that's right next to the subscribe button so that you never have to miss a single video. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a how not a how to contour, how I contour because there's many different ways to contour but this is how I do it. This video has been highly requested by several of my friends so I just wanted to sit down and film this for you guys so you guys better give it a damn thumbs up. <laughs> just kidding. No, no. The way that I contour, I feel like it's really subtle. It's not too intense. I know that people do have the misconception of contouring making your face look slimmer. It just adds definition to your cheekbones and if you don't have any, no problem. We can create the illusion that you do have some. As for me, my face shape is very round so I do try to create some type of definition towards my cheekbones and the outer areas of my huge ass forehead. So if you are interested on how to achieve this contoured face, then just keep watching. There's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark. You should know you're beautiful just the way you are. Very quickly, I want to mention that I already had my foundation on. Just saying. Okay, guys, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to take this first shade here, and this is a cream contour palette by Ruby Kiss Cosmetics. You can find this at your local Walmart. I'm going to take that first shade and then just apply it from the center of my earlobe down to the middle of my cheek. This cream contour palette is really easy to use, very blendable, and it stays creamy compared to the Anastasia contour palette. That one was a little bit difficult for me to work with because you always had to have the oil drops in order for it to be creamy, but this one stays creamy and it's easy to use. It's affordable. You can't go wrong with that. So I don't have a forehead, I have maybe like a five or six head. <laughs> so I definitely have to add some of that contour to my forehead and then bringing it down to the nose. For my nose, I'm not doing an intense contouring. I'm just, you know, adding a little bit more depth to it. For a more snatched contoured nose, I like to use powder, not, not the creams. So I'll definitely do a powder contour later on in my channel, so be sure to subscribe. Then I'm taking this Vibrancy Argan Oil Infused Concealer, and this is a full coverage concealer by Josie Moran. I definitely suggest that you try this out. I love it, it doesn't dry down too quickly, so it gives you enough time to blend everything out. I always highlight the T-zone and also my smile lines because the older that I'm getting, the deeper they're getting. To blend everything out, I'm picking up the Sigma 3D HD beauty sponge and this sponge works so good for end of the eye it blends everything out and I just love this sponge for contouring I do have an affiliate link with Sigma you can take 10% off your purchase by using my code Tracy 10 which I'll go ahead and link down in the description box so make sure that you do check that out and I do gain commission from that purchase so we both win it's a win-win you know and I forgot to mention that the shade of concealer that I'm using is in medium once you're done blending everything out, you want to go ahead and clean up your contour. That way you have that cheekbone effect. Look at that. Do you see that? We're going to go ahead and take this next color here from the Cream Contour Palette. You want to take a fluffy brush. That way it's not too intense. Um, I'm going to take the Luxie 660 brush. This came in a previous BoxyCharm box, so you guys might have it. The Luxie brushes, I feel the bristles are extremely soft and it makes it easier for you to blend out any creams and any contour shades. Even with powders, I find these brushes to be so useful. Moving on, I'm going to take the Joa Beauty Selfie Ready Setting Powder and this is a banana powder. So it does lighten and brighten underneath your eye. You don't want to apply that too much on your forehead and on your you know anywhere else so whatever remaining powder that I have on my brush I'm gonna go ahead and just set my t-zone Joa Beauty is a new cosmetics line that has just came out at CVS or you can shop for them on their website I'm gonna be using the Sigma blush and this is in the color Corderosa I really love how subtle and 
pink this is. If you're not into pinks, sorry, but I am. I'm going to just go ahead and make this stupid little face that I always do when I apply blush and just get the apples of my cheekbones and if your concealer and contour is not well blended, then just go ahead and apply that over. Girl, I have been loving this Pixie Beauty Duo. It's a highlighter duo and it, this is in the shade Sunrise. I really love it. I think it looks so beautiful and sun-kissed. I just love it. You want to go ahead and apply some highlighter to your cheekbones and also the tip of your nose, up the bridge of your nose, you know, just to make that contour on your nose really pop out. Applying highlighter to your cupid's bow really makes your lipstick pop as well. So, you know, girl, I want to be popping. To wrap up this look, I'm taking the Lolita Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D. Alright guys, and it's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> Just kidding. Look at this contour. I think it's really subtle, very wearable, very beautiful. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And also, I think I'll be doing a powdered contour here on my channel very soon. Okay guys, so I really hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did like my eyeshadow, I do have a mini tutorial on my Instagram. So make your way over to my Instagram. I'll go ahead and link that down below. And if not, I'll go ahead and put my name down here. It's the same as my YouTube name, Tracy Does Makeup. And occasionally hair. And special effects, and painting, and cutting hair. You name it. Anywho, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, make sure that you let me know down in the comments what type of videos you guys want to see next and if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below and I always respond to every single one of my comments. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!